Hello. Um, I'm back again. <laughs> um, and uh, two of my previous episodes, I was talking about um, if you were wanting to uh, uh do some research on uh, Wicca and paganism, and I had mentioned a few uh, books. And well, I have a pile of all of the books I have so far, which aren't many. I mean, um, I basically got like you know the the basic ones. Um, uh, well, one of them really isn't um about Wicca and paganism, but it does have so something to do with like uh, spirituality and the occult. And it's one of the books I had to get for a book club. And, um, hold on. Let me get them all uh, situated here. Um, one of the books I talked about was uh, Raymond Buckland's Complete Book of Witchcraft, which it, it looks like this right here. Right here. There's the back. Where's, yeah, that side. Um, this is like one of your basic, uh, uh, wi basic witchcraft books. Um, it's, um, more of a, uh, um, workbook than, um, well, it's kind of, kind of a little bit of both. Um, it has, like, it's, it's that, the chapters, um, sectioned up where it has uh, lessons at the end of it like this little lessons at the end of it where you, um mine I just go ahead and write in it since it's mine um if you don't want if you don't want to write in it you can just use paper um yeah th this one I actually kind of like um another one I mentioned was uh, to write a silver broomstick, it's by Silver Ravenwolf. Looks like that. Um, I think there's like several copies. This is the copy I have. Um, is back. I can't quite remember where I'd gotten it. It's kind of used. <laughs> um, looks like, I don't remember where I got it. Got it. I think it was somewhere in a uh, city, a couple hours away. Um, I don't remember. Um, another one I mentioned, I think was, I think, um, one by Amber K. It, it's True Magic, A Beginner's Guide. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. It ha I think it has little lessons and stuff in it, too. Um, there's A Spiral Dance by Starhawk. It's a pretty good beginner, I think. Um, that kind of, I, I haven't really read that much into it, but it's kind of like, you know, talks about, um, more of like, you know, goddess space stuff, um, and stuff like that. Um, the, the first one I got was Book of Shadows, this one, um, pretty much talks about her, uh, um, how she got into it, um, and uh, basically, you know, her journey through to and through it. Um, if 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 you're interested in the solitary um, part of it, there's a, a good one by Scott Cunningham called uh, "Wicca: The Guide for Solitary Solitary Practitioners." That's what that one looks like. Into that, no lessons, um, but a lot of really good information. Um, if you're interested, pick it up. Um, there is one from the uh, website I had given earlier that is called Living the Wicked Life. It's uh, actually based on one of their uh, lessons. Um, pretty good. If you want to get it, go ahead. Um, there's, there's one that's uh, that I personally got for a book club 
that sounded really interesting. That's about a uh, feline magic called the Enchanted Cat. So I ordered online. Haven't read it yet, but it looks really interesting. Um, if you're more interested in like uh, little lessons for every day, then there's a, a really good, really good one that's called Wicca A Year and a Day, which is exactly how long it takes to complete it. Um, haven't gotten through it yet, but it seems interesting and pretty simple to follow. And uh, another one that I got for uh, a book club that um, it, it doesn't have really anything to do with Wicca or Paganism, but it does have a lot to do with like um, psychics and spirits. And uh, so like that, it's, it's it's about Lilydale, a place I think somewhere in New York, that's pretty good. What does it look like? The town that talks to the dead by uh, Catherine Wicker. It basically this book. Um, the the writer is basically like a reporter that's kind of a, kind of a skeptic, and she's kind of a skeptic all the way through, and um. If you really want to find out about, about the town, I'd suggest not getting this book, looking for something else. But if you want general information, I guess you can get it. Um, whatever, if you want to. Um, that's really, really all the books I have on the, on the stuff. Um, yeah, basically the, the ones I've shown are probably the best ones you probably want to look for. Um, anything for the beginner would be great for you to, um, look up. Um, uh, Scott Cunningham has another one for a solitary called Living Wicca. Um, I don't have that one. I, I thought about getting it. I'm thinking about getting it, but I haven't got it yet. Um, I guess it basically, uh, goes a little bit, excuse me, a little bit deeper into, uh, solitary practice. Um, the, uh, guide to the solitary practitioner is basically a beginning for you if you're interested in solitary practices. Um, most of them deal with, uh, coven stuff, I guess if that's, um, sorry, my, my phone's about dead, so, um, hold on a minute. Oops. <laughs> um, yeah, most of them are, are basically dealing with um, covens, uh, initiation to covens, um, stuff you do in covens. Um, if, that's, if, if you're really interested in that, you probably want to look into both solitary and coven, see if which one is uh, best for you. Um, if you want to be solitary, that's fine. If you want to be in a coven, that's fine. Um, whatever feels best for you, basically. Um, uh, yeah, that's basically all I have. Um, all I have to say about it. So, uh, if you're interested, check out one of the books and just <laughs> find out as much as you can about it.